Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this review? Let's do this. Hey, girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, oh, today, we have a very, very special package to open. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that Queen B reached out to me personally. Okay, fine. The team of the Beyonce DM'd me telling me they wanted to send me a VIP box of Beyonce's new hair care. <laughs> so today I will be opening this box for the very first time with you and we'll be trying everything out. Let's do this. Gah! Oh, let me not break anything on the inside. Okay, so this is a very big box. I have already seen some spoilers on the interwebs. I was secretly hoping that this was gonna be the big silver briefcase that people got at the launch party, but you know, this is, it's cool. This is cool too. Still grateful. Come on! Ah! Okay, here, slowly but surely. <laughs> Yo, oh! your average box this is this is smooth no one's talking about how the box feels here we are sacred by beyonce what if you open it and it starts singing like this ain't texas Woo! okay there's no music but that would be cool just just an idea for the next pr box oh my goodness a whole there's a whole booklet in here it's so so bright let's first talk about the products Eight products to review. Now my wash days don't usually consist of eight products. So we're gonna use as much as we can today. We have, wow, this is nice. I don't know why I thought these were gonna be like made out of stone and you couldn't like even squeeze them, but it, they're plastic. It's just the fanciest plastic you've ever seen. This is the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub. Hydrating shampoo. So we have two shampoos today. I guess I could double cleanse so we could try them both. Styling lotion. The reconstructing treatment mask, as well as moisturizing deep conditioner. Do I need both masks today? I don't know if I should do a side-by-side. -side. We're gonna figure it out, we're gonna figure it out. Nourishing hair oil. Oh, this is a bigger bottle than I thought. Look at that, that is beautiful. Fermented rice and rose protein ritual. Today might be a very long wash day. <laughs> it's probably gonna get dark in here. Just be prepared for that. The ritual shaking vessel and applicator nozzle. Oh, this looks like a cute little water bottle. Can I just? Take this on the road with me? Yo, this could easily be my new sacred water bottle. If you see me in the streets, don't say nothing. But I believe we're supposed to put this in here and shake it and apply it. Should I use the protein treatment today? Maybe so. Maybe we just try everything. Shall we see what's in here? Is this like a Beyonce booklet? Wow. Wow, one time. For Queen Bee. It says, It has always been a dream of mine to create a hair care line. That's why I'm so proud to share Sacred, which celebrates and honors the wisdom in our hair. I'm excited that you are now part of this community. Ah! Beyonce is not a part of the community. And can help to build an intimate and powerful space where we can share our journeys, our hair secrets, and protect all things sacred. Definitely should have started this wash routine at 8 a.m. Look at the photography. Okay, so the very first thing that I was so so happy to see is that all these products are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. Thank you, Jesus. One step closer to victory. Here's the lineup I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna start off in the shower with the clarifying shampoo. Then I'm gonna go in with the hydrating shampoo. Then I'm going to try the protein treatment and shake it up in this little bottle, little DIY experiment. And then I don't know if I need to double mask Mm, I don't know. Without further ado, let's hop in the shower. Just so you guys know, I did purposely wait until my day six hair, so there are tangles and my scalp is looking crusty. I did get this box sent to me via PR, but I am not obligated to make this video at all. Just know that my reviews are always 100% honest. All right, let's do this. I know a lot of y'all got trust issues with influencers, but I just showed you all the flaky, nasty crustiness. If the crustiness is still there, you're gonna know the truth, okay? 
Let's give it a shot. I first tried the Clarifying Shampoo. This is their scalp scrub. First thing, I didn't know how to take it off. I didn't know if it was a twist or a pull. I didn't want to break anything, but you do pull it off. <laughs> and then you twist the nozzle applicator. This would probably go directly on my scalp since I wanted to check the consistency today. I just put it in my hand. It also smells so good. It's giving double mint gum. Literally smells like minty gum. But like the sweet mint, you know? Liking the consistency and the super small beads. That's gonna give us a nice exfoliating on our scalp to remove product buildup. But the crazy part about this is that it has slip. Like look at this. I have never detangled with a shampoo before, but this is actually giving me great slip. Even though it's minty, it actually didn't give me that like tingly sensation. So if you don't like that feeling, this one's gonna be a good one for you. I usually don't mind it, but it didn't come with this one. Now to rinse it out, let's try another shampoo to double cleanse. This is the hydrating shampoo. The shampoo smells so good, like floral luxury spa. This is supposed to gently cleanse from root to tip with a generous lather, as you can see. I love that it's sulfate free, but you still get that bubbly sensation. So this shampoo is supposed to help strengthen and hydrate while promoting hair health. So. All of these products are really about hair health, repair, and strengthening. After the scalp scrub, my hair felt squeaky clean, like I literally could hear a squeaky sound. So you should definitely use a conditioner after this, but I think the hydrating shampoo is even going to help. I think now that I've used the hydrating shampoo, it added some more moisture into my hair. But overall, I'm really happy with both of these shampoos. Now let's get out and try a deep conditioner. Okay, Beyonce, so far we are 10 out of 10 for the shampoos. Love them. Now let's try the fermented rice and rose protein powder. As you guys know, I did a whole series on rice water rinses. I hated every moment of them. It smells like cat pee. So if Beyonce's found a way to get the same effects of a rice water treatment without smelling like cat pee, that would be ideal. So I have the beautiful, let me get the right name. I don't think it's just a water bottle. I think it's like a vessel of some sort. The ritual shaking vessel, of course it's not a water bottle. Inspired by ancient African and Greek stone sculptures. Beautiful. It holds 24 ounces of water, so I thought I could just fill it up to the top, but then I got my actual measuring cup, just because if we do this correctly, this is 24 ounces of warm water. I'm gonna fill up my vessel. Oh, it's still warm. This is actually bigger than 24 ounces. 24 ounces only goes to right here. So you wanna have some room to shake the actual powder, so I'm glad I measured. So I'll leave about this much to the top so there's room for shaking. Now I'm going to empty one packet of the fermented rice and rose protein powder. Now obviously you guys know, oh it rips. My hair is not damaged. I take very good care of my hair, but our hair can always use some protein. So I'm gonna do a protein treatment today because I have I can't even tell you the last time I've done one. Oh, that actually smells good. Check! Put the top on, secure it tightly, and we shake. Kind of like a little Beyonce protein shake. Don't drink it. Shake well until the powder is fully dissolved. Slowly pour the fermented rice and rose water over the lengths of your hair. How am I gonna do this on camera? Oh, use the nozzle for a more precise application. Ah. It says to do this every four to six weeks after shampooing, before conditioning, or whenever your hair needs a healthy boost. This has hydrolyzed rice protein, which is going to help fight against breakage and split ends. It has biotin honey, rose, and aminos. Well, doesn't smell like cat pee, that's good. It kind of smells like grape. Now I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes and then we're going to do step number two. Time's up, let's rinse it out. By the way, here's a good look at my scalp. Flakes are gone, no longer crusty. My hair is looking really shiny though. Already. Step two, open the silk rinse packet and empty the entire packet into your hands. Smooth silk rinse over your hair, raking it through your strands until your hair is fully coated. Let it sit for five minutes. Hmm. It smells good, but it's a very light scent. Kind of sweet. Maybe it's the honey. Oh, it smells good though. Very creamy, very lightweight. I'm gonna rake it, but I don't wanna fully detangle because I really wanna test the slip of the conditioners. It says to use the whole thing. My hair is fine, and I think I probably could have stopped by now, but I'm just gonna use it because that's what Beyonce says to do. 
but I do think there's enough for those of you that have thicker hair than me. Every last drop of this stuff ain't cheap. Look at this. Oh man. Well, there goes the slip test for the conditioner because this, this is already doing some magic. Wow. It's detangled. I even noticed slip from the shampoo. Now I let this sit for five minutes. Four steps down. Okay, hold on. Do you see this? I know influencers get a bad rep because nobody trusts us. And even I saw a couple reviews where I was like, okay, chill. Like, it's just product. Let's not overdo it. But this is extremely shiny. Like, this is my dark hair on a black shirt and you still see the shine. Okay, moving on, moving on. Now, I was really debating on what mask to use, but since Beyonce gave us a whole pamphlet, it says that the reconstructing treatment mask, this is not a deep conditioner in all caps. Use the reconstructing treatment after shampooing and before conditioning when you need to repair damage. Apply evenly to clean wet hair from root to tip. Leave on for 20 minutes. For best results, cover your hair with plastic cap. Follow with our moisturizing deep conditioner if you desire more conditioning. So I kind of feel like since we're here, we're just gonna try them all. Reconstructing treatment mask. Packaging is so cute. Dip it. Oh, it smells good. Okay, we're, tangles are gone. <laughs> I had tangles before this. I showered on day six hair. I purposely waited so that my hair would be as crusty as possible so I can give you guys an honest review on a realistic wash day. And we are gliding through the tangles. I will most likely be using this stuff again and I will make sure to update you guys as I continue to use this on Instagram, so if you are not following me, make sure to follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee. Oh, it says best for low porosity, that's me, coarse, curly, coily, or zigzag coiled hair. Okay, this one's for us. Ultra rich buttery cream formula, yes, deeply nourishes and delivers intense hydration, revives dehydrated and dull hair, helps define curls, seals the cuticle, and leaves hair feeling soft and it's color safe, so. Here's the consistency. It's rich, but it's not like really thick, which is great for me. So I'm gonna put on my shower cap. If you have a hooded dryer, that would be great. I don't, I also don't like to be like stuck in one spot because I am a mom, so I gotta be able to move around. But this is my Thermal Hair Care Hothead Heat Cap. I put this in the microwave for 45 seconds on each side three times. So now this is hot. So now I can be hands-free, move around, and let all this really soak into my hair. Freshly rinsed. Look at that. Now let's try the moisturizing deep conditioner. Mmm, that smells good too. Oh, thank God none of the smells are stanky. Ultra rich, buttery, moisturizing. Okay, this is the thickest out of all the products thus far. I would think if you had thicker density, this would even be even better for you. Rehydrate, soften, and improve manageability. Eight moisturizing butters and oils, including shea and murumuru butter. Yes! Murumuru butter has become my favorite curly hair ingredient. When I see that in a mask, I get excited. Plumping already. Add water to your hands as needed to enhance spreadability. So my hair is super wet right now, so it is gliding pretty smoothly, but if it's not, add more water. Leave on for no longer than 30 minutes, rinse thoroughly. Use once a week if you have dry, damaged, or fragile hair. I do find it interesting that there is no regular conditioner in this. She kind of like said, go harder, go home with the moisture, but you should be deep conditioning once a week anyways, so might as well get that deep conditioner in. We did it. We made it to the end of the wash day routine. Now, everything so far has been amazing, but this one right here is the one that I've been most iffy about, which is their Styler. This is the Moisture Sealing Lotion. 
if I just hear the word lotion alone, it makes me not want to use it because like, what is the lotion doing for my hair? It is listed as a styler. It's giving me leave-in conditioner vibes, which is not a styler. So I'm definitely pre-judging this one, but I'm gonna just take away the judgment and let's give it a fair chance and see how it goes. This little ball twist is pretty cute. Oh, oh, it's coming out. Same fragrance as the rest of the line. This is a luscious lotion that supposedly does it all. Let's see, check the consistency. It's lightweight, but also a little thick at the same time. It's like thick and creamy, but not like heavy. This is supposed to hydrate, seal, strengthen, and provide a light hold. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna keep calling it a leave-in if it's claiming to have hold. I put a poll on my Instagram because I very much wanted to put a gel on top of this, but I'm not gonna do it. Let's see how it does on its own. Even if this was a cream styler, I'd still want to put a gel on top, but I'd be a little more confident in it being called a cream styler, but we're gonna just try the lotion. Hair is still looking beautifully shiny. That's good that you don't just rinse it out and then all the shine goes away. It says it works well on damp or dry hair. Apply sparingly, oops to towel dried hair to seal in moisture and add light hold to air dried style. This is supposed to smooth frizz and flyaways, enhance and define natural curls and boost shine. That part is evident. For all hair types except locks, it says that. For hair experiencing frizz, dullness, needs definition, or you want style longevity. I really don't think this is gonna give me longevity because it's a light hold. And that's just based off the description, light hold, period. Nothing light hold is gonna give me longevity. But we're just gonna try it. Just a teeny bit more. Gotta remind myself this ain't no drugstore product. And scrunch. Oh. A bitty bitty, that's all, folks. <laughs> I'm going to let this air dry as much as possible so that I can minimize frizz. I don't like to diffuse without a gel, but I feel like having bangs requires me to diffuse. So I'll let it air dry to see what, oh, that's, that's pretty. I'm gonna let it air dry to see what type of hold it actually has. And then I guess I can add the oil on top when it's time to fluff. I'll be back. The sun has set, it's now um, much darker in here, but here's how my hair looks, almost dry. It's actually retaining the definition, extremely shiny. So I'm gonna try to diffuse as gently as possible because we don't have any hold really. But let's see how this looks. So far, so good though. This might be the shiniest my hair has ever been though. I, I must say that. I <laughs> shook. I, wow. I did not think I was gonna be able to diffuse this without it just be turning into a big frizz ball, but the definition and shine has remained. I had to show you that before I like truly fluff it out. Let's do a little shake. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is pretty insane. So now I have the Sacred Nourishing Oil. This is one of the top spins. Our signature African oil blend, nourishing hair oil is infused with 13 luscious oils, including shea buckthorn. Baoba, Moringa, Black Seed, Castor, Sunflower Seed, Watermelon Seed, Olive, Sweet Almond, Flax Seed, Golden Jojoba, not your basic jojoba, Argan, and Coconut to reinforce your hair's lipids, bear, and seal in moisture, ensuring hair stays hydrated and nourished for longer. A natural shine that's not weighed down by silicone coating. Thank you. I respect that. And I think that already puts you above Olaplex. Oh, there's a little stopper in here. Oh, this is not nail friendly. I don't want to break a nail. <laughs> oh, 
Very light scent, nothing crazy, that's good. Not that my hair needs any more shine, but let's just add it on there. It says apply sparingly after styling from mid shafts to ends to add a natural shine. Apply to towel dried hair to add moisture and nourishment. You could apply it to your scalp, press it into your locks or your braids to add in moisture and shine. It says you could mix it with your conditioner for added nourishment or you could apply it all over your hair before washing for a deep oil treatment. Look! Oh man. I apologize. I had zero faith in that lotion. No way! No! With no gel? What type of sorcery? Now I'm really glad I tried this on its own. Beyonce, you've done something here. Guys, this is, this is no gel. This is no hairspray. This is really like the most natural my hair can be. This is zero hold. You know I'm a hold girl. But to get this type of definition without any help, is pretty insane. So uh, let me just go on record by saying I apologize. I prejudged this. I had zero faith in the lotion. I thought I was about to be frizz city. I wanted to add a gel on top so bad. But this actually did something and it did something well. But to be fair, anything with no hold isn't going to realistically last you throughout the week. I guess I will continue to, to let you know, but if I could have a gel to hold this look, I think it would just take it to a whole nother level. And Sacred, if you're watching, if you do come out with a gel and you need a tester, you, you need another model for the campaign for the gel department, I am your girl. Call me. Let's talk about the not so fun part, the prices. Starting off, the clarifying shampoo is eight fluid ounces for $38. Hydrating shampoo is eight fluid ounces for $30. Moisturizing deep conditioner, 10 fluid ounces, $38. Reconstructing treatment mask is 10 fluid ounces for $42. The fermented rice and rose protein ritual that has four uses, $52. Moisturizing sealing lotion is eight fluid ounces and $38. Nourishing hair oil is 1.7 fluid ounces and is $44. Seems like your best bet is the super fan bundle. If you do want to try all of them, you can get all of them for $265. So it seems like everything is around $38, which isn't crazy. It's obviously not drugstore prices. It's not, it's obviously not cheap. It's giving luxury. It's Beyonce. What do you expect? <laughs> Did y'all not go to the Renaissance tour? Did you see how much the tickets were? But to compare to some of our other favorites, Briogeo, their Do Not Despair mask is $39. Their exfoliating shampoo is $42. They have an oil for $32. Curlsmith is like $26, $27, $28 for most of their stylers. Their oil is $30. K18 has a mask for $75. They have a detox shampoo for $38. K18 oil is $65. Then there's Aveda. They have a $47 leave-in treatment, $34 stylers, $47 repair mask. $56 serums. They even have a $74 mask. It's kind of like mid-high, not the highest, but comparable to what we would see at maybe Sephora. So because of Beyonce's fan base, she could have gone crazy with the prices, but I think the price is reasonable, especially because of the great ingredients and how well they worked. Obviously we are paying for the packaging. Like this is not your average push bottle. These kind of details, is really what you're paid for. Concluding thoughts, 10 out of 10. Dare I say this might be the greatest celebrity hair care launch. Eek! That's a big claim and that's no shade to anybody else. But I do respect that Beyonce said that she took six years 
creating this product. It wasn't a quick cash grab. She really put some thought into it. She hired top scientists, professionals. She tested it out on straight hair, on curly hair, all hair types. She said that she went back and forth in the lab to make sure everything was as great as possible. And I think her work truly shows in how well these work today. Now I know there's been a lot of talk about Beyonce wearing wigs. We don't see her natural hair. Like what does she know? Well, one, this is actually her hair. So she does have hair, it's very long. And if you wanna talk about her wearing wigs, if she were to create a hairline, because that's her passion project, I don't think you should put people in a box if they wanna do something else, let them do it. But this is exactly what I would do before I put on a wig. I would clarify my scalp. I would moisturize my hair. I would put on some sort of deep conditioning mask. And then I'd braid it up and put it under a wig. I wouldn't even have stylers. So for Beyonce to be someone that wears her hair mostly straight or she has wigs or extensions, she actually wouldn't be the first one that may know about using a gel or a mousse or a really heavy styling cream. As someone who wears their hair curly all the time, I do really hope that she comes out with a gel or a mousse and some more stylers. This is just launch one. I have no doubt that more is coming. For the initial launch, I think this is actually 100% in Beyonce's lane for rocking her natural hair straightened or braided up majority of the time. At the end of the day, I know a lot of people just instantly turn off when they see a celebrity make a hair product or skincare or whatever. It's just like automatic, ugh. I think she also can hire the right team and the right scientists to create a great product. It's all about the people around you. Beyonce does not have to be a scientist or a product developer. She could absolutely just hire the best of the best to create the best of the best. So with all that being said, sacred is Bianca Renee approved. <laughs> Hallelujah. I didn't want to have to bash these products, but I am pleasantly surprised and I will be continuing to use them sparingly. I do always appreciate drugstore prices just so it's more accessible to everybody. I don't have a promo code for you, so the price is going to be what it is. The packaging, the ingredients, how well they worked. Day one hair with no gel. She did that. She slayed as she said she would. <laughs> Round of applause for Beyonce and the sacred team. Before you go, I wanna hear all about your thoughts. What do you think? What do you think of my hair? Would you purchase these? What are you interested in? What are you not interested in? Leave all your thoughts and comments below. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week all about naturally curly hair. Try to find the best products with the best ingredients so you don't waste your money. You also can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee, and I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.